So let's think about how to make participation work for your group. So what do we mean by participation? Participation is a process where you work with decision makers or service providers to address issues affecting your community and agree changes. So it usually consists of a dialogue or a conversation which takes place through a series of meetings, emails or phone calls. It can be one off, like an event, but generally it'll be more meaningful if it's ongoing. So perhaps a series of meetings over a period of time. Examples could be designing a new service or a new project or helping to improve an existing service or contributing to the development of a new law or strategy. So there are a range of participation opportunities and different ways to get involved. You could take part in general participation opportunities that you see advertised, for example, a government consultation, which is available to respond to online or through attending an event. Or you may be specifically invited to take part. So if agencies know your group and what it does, or if they know that you have knowledge or expertise in a certain area, then they might invite you to be involved. Um, for example, taking part in a working group that's looking to improve a service or to set up a new project. You can also be proactive and you can approach service providers and decision makers with your own proposals of how you would like to be involved. And you can do this through making a participation request, which is part of the Community Empowerment Act. Um, please see our fact sheet for more information on this. But for any opportunity, it's important to decide whether it's genuine and useful and whether it's going to be the best use of your time. It can be helpful to think about, is the purpose clear? Is the issue important to you and your community? Do you have a good understanding of the issue, how it affects your community and what your community would like to be done? And module three can help you to have further conversations with your community if you need to. What's the level of your involvement? What level of power is being shared with you? And I'll talk about that a bit more later on in the presentation. Do you think your views and proposals will be listened to and taken into account? Because if not, there's no point in being involved. And lastly, but very importantly, will your involvement make a difference? In Scotland, we have something called the National Standards for Community Engagement. And these set out what community groups can expect from taking part in any engagement or participation opportunities. There's seven key standards. So agencies that are carrying out the engagement and asking communities to take part should make sure that there's a clear purpose, that people or communities affected by the issue will be included, that they use different methods and ways to involve people, and that they provide support for people to take part. Agencies carrying out the engagement should also make sure that they work together with everyone affected by the issue, that they communicate clearly with everyone involved, and that they consider impact and what they learned, both in terms of what communities told them, but also what they learned about the process and what they would do differently in the future. If you want to find out more about the national standards, then you'll find a link on the Module 9 webpage. So as I said earlier, let's look at levels of participation. This is really about your level of involvement and how much power agencies are willing to share with you and your community organisation. As you can see in this diagram, there are five different levels. Inform is the lowest level of engagement. This is when people provide information or they tell you about something. There's nothing wrong with this. Providing information can be really useful or helpful but it is a very low level of involvement or participation. Consult is the next level. This is when agencies will ask you about something and hopefully take note of what you've said, but you won't be involved with what they do with the information after that. Involve is the third level. This is mid-level engagement. This means that you may have some level of involvement in what happens after you've given your views, for example, around what decisions are made and what actions are then taken. Collaborate is when the power is more equally shared and you're part of the decision making process within a project or service. So you're involved in decisions that are made and actions that are taken. Empower, which is the highest level of engagement, is when the power is equally shared. Or it could even be that the service or the project is community led so that all the decisions or actions are taken by your community or your community organisation. 
It's not essential that you know all these levels of participation, but it can be useful to be aware of them, as it can help you to know the extent of your involvement and to work out whether it will be beneficial to you or your community to take part. So remember, participation is a long-term process with no guarantees. It's about building relationships, having conversations, and making sure that the people who need to be at the table are there. It's about representing the views of your community and giving them a voice. Change takes time, but do make sure you feel your involvement is making a difference and that you're making steps towards the change you want to see.